The number of wineries has nearly doubled in Arizona since 2001, and more of these wineries are starting to buy local grapes for their crushes. Cronkite News reporter Brooke Waswitz went to check out some West Valley wineries. I know what the Arizona soil tastes like, and I like the wine made from Arizona. Gavin Galifond says he's happy to join the trend of using Arizona grapes for winemaking instead of importing them from California. California can't produce an Arizona wine. Growers say Arizona has its perks, low cost, perfect climate, and no water restrictions. Each year we've been able to add more and more Arizona grapes onto it. In 2014 we did 97% of our grapes were Arizona. And he's hoping that this year they'll hit 100%. The quality of the wine, the quality of the the fruit that's being produced, everything has, the bar has been raised and everybody's expecting better. Owner of Havelina Leap Winery, Rod Snap, only uses Arizona grapes. They're crazy not to use Arizona fruit, it's the best in the world. The wine industry in Arizona has grown at nearly 700% over the last 14 years. Last year it was, I believe they were hitting the 100 mark or have hit the 100 mark now. Many of them using Arizona grapes. Whatever goes in the bottle, they should be telling the truth about it. Both Snap and Galafont are proud to label their bottles with a Grown in Arizona sticker. If you buy local, 43 out of $100 stays in the state. If you buy from a national chain or brand, $13 of it stays in the state. Buying uh, local gives Galafont the opportunity to okay. put more money back into the community, which he hopes will bring in more business and keep prices low. We're producing wines $15 a bottle, fabulous wines, um, up to $49 a bottle. Besides the price point, what makes Arizona grown wine so good? The soil, the elevation, the, the difference in temperatures, Everything makes it different, um, but they're fabulous wines. And hoping to be a fabulous addition to Arizona's economy. In Peoria, Brooke Wazowitz, Cronkite News. The Arizona Wine Growers Association estimated that the sale revenue for 2013 was more than $2 million. Now, although this is a small number, the influx of wineries has also produced many jobs in the regions where grapes are grown.